there's always a pile of empty crab shells outside. Absolutely. So. Yeah. <laughs> the octopus garden, as they call it. That's it, yeah. yeah. Good afternoon from Living Coast here in Torquay, where behind me, it's nearly lunchtime, and Octavia the octopus is about to be put through her paces as part of a series of intelligence tests. It's been described as a battle of wills between a research student and a super intelligent mollusk. Meg Davitt, a veterinary biosciences student at the University of Surrey, has been keeping a close eye on 16-month-old Octavia, making her tackle a series of tricky puzzles as part of a research project during her one-year placement. We're trying to stimulate her natural um, curiosity, um, so keep her active during feeding times. So I'm actually devising different tests for her, so putting food in containers or um, different puzzles. So she has to figure out how to get the food out of these enrichment puzzles. How's Octavia coping with all the puzzles you've been giving her? Well, to start with, it was a bit slow going. Um, I'd come and watch her, see if she could figure out the puzzle, and she wouldn't really do anything. Um, then I'd come back later, still nothing. Um, so, for example, I gave her a clip lock box and it had food in it and I'd, I'd observe her, see if she got the food out, and she hadn't, so I came back in the morning and the food was gone, the lid was open, so she wouldn't get it out while I was there, um, but the next day she would get it out. So I did that again the next two weeks to see if she'd remember how to do it, um, and she did. This time it took her 28 minutes, so she is learning and remembering how to do these puzzles. And so what have we got as a puzzle today that we'll see? So today, because I gave her a puzzle on Monday, it's bit more enrichment today rather than puzzle but it hopefully will be challenging for her we've got a fish cake which is basically fish frozen inside of an ice block and she has to try and somehow defrost the ice um, so hopefully she'll squirt some water at it try and make it melt a bit faster but we shall see across the globe there have been some famous octopuses in the past such as world cup predictor paul and with Octavia bringing in the crowds, Living Coasts are hoping she could take Torquay by storm. Hopefully, yes. I mean, she's a great character and they do have characters. They are all individuals. Um, some are more shy than others, but Octavia is really great. She loves interacting and it's a great project for Megan to be able to do. We ha host many students here every year and Meg is here for a year long which gives her a long time to actually look at the enrichment for the octopus and also to test its intelligence. It's important that our animals are enriched um, and we give them many things um, to enrich their lives, obviously the right environment to live in, um, the right food to eat and also enrichment to keep their brains working. It's not just the case for the octopus, it's the case for all our animals here on site, so the seals, the penguins, the otters, even the rays. Octavia has the intelligence comparable to a three-year-old child and is thought to be one of the smartest creatures of the sea. But did she outwit Meg and her latest challenge here today? Well, I think she did. Um, she seemed to, I saw her take one arm and put it inside her and that normally indicates that she's got her food. Um, by the looks of it, the ice has melted so she, she definitely would have got her food and now she's gone back to her den which normally indicates that she's got the food. <laughs> You can see Octavia tackle a new task each Monday, Wednesday and Friday at Living Coasts. So why not come along for yourself and see what fiendish folly Meg has in store for her next. Lewis Clark, Devon Live, Torquay.